Hello, welcome. Today is November 14, 2022, and I'm here to do our daily check-in. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So <clears throat> for today, I'll go ahead and do the reading um, kind of face to face, right? And see how this goes. <laughs> um, I did that last week. And um, so, yeah, I just want to do something a little bit different. So for today, for my Twin Flame Collective, we are going to do a karmic reading. So this reading is going to cover current energies between you, your DM, and the karmic. Okay, so um, if you go to my website and you were to book this reading, I believe it's called You, Them, and the Karmic, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Barry, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of our divine masculine? What is the energy of divine feminine? And what is the energy of the karmic? What is the energy for all the parties involved? Please bring forth clear messages in regards to masculine, feminine, and the karmic. Thank you. So overall, we have a woman holding a coin for divine masculine. So uh, what I'm seeing here is that <clears throat> there is a female energy that is surrounding this masculine. This could be a mother. This could be a working situation. Um, it could be a spouse. Okay, take your pick. Um, whoever this person is, I feel like uh, they have like some sort of control over your person. Um, not necessarily like, you know, they're pussy whooped but they could be right um or they could be mama's boy you know um daddy's girl whatever um i have a feeling that they know what is going on in their connection with the karmic partner okay um but let's see now with you we have yin yang and uh it's in reverse so this is yang energy so this is masculine energy so i have a feeling that this a divine masculine is moving forward okay they are taking action but i really feel like the action is more or less towards the karmic situation rather than towards divine feminine the reason why i say that is because i see here the second chakra or archangel ariel and it came up in reverse so when it comes to working on anything, I really feel like they're, they've lost like a sense of motivation. It feels as if they're stuck. So they are not feeling um, the passion or the drive to do anything. Okay. Um, let's see what else is going on. Now with you, we have caring connections, but it is in reverse. So what I'm getting with this is that you're not feeling loved at this time. And I really feel like when it comes to love, you're not feeling very stable. I'm also saying that there is an opportunity for you to change. But for some of my feminines, you don't want to change or there is no change that you're seeing in loving connections. Um, towards the, the Divine Masculine, we have Deceit, but it came up in reverse. So with this card, I see that you have a decision to make, you know, and I feel that you want to be honest. You're not at your full potential. So to me, this feels like a feminine's, you know, you're not operating on your higher self. Um, and maybe you're ignoring your oversoul, right? Uh, which is more than the higher self. 
And um, honestly, this feels like a kickback week. I'm not getting much action so far. Let's take a look at the karmic. So for the karmic, we have the sun. So they're feeling good about something. Um, there is possibly a new beginning for the karmic. Um, they're actually looking pretty happy here. Maybe they're starting to see that it's time for them to take action. So they're feeling uh, spiritually guided to start on some sort of work situation where they're feeling very balanced. It's kind of ironic, right? So masculine isn't feeling very balanced. Masculine here is the yang energy, okay, which I see here with this action card with the karmic. So the karmic is making movement forward. So is this masculine. But I really feel like, you know, indirectly it could be for, towards the feminine. But what I'm getting is that this is them dealing with the karmic. Okay. That is what I'm seeing here. I really feel like uh, with the karmic, we have the fifth chakra. So they could be talking to the karmic and the karmic is being motivated to do whatever is necessary to kind of defend themselves. So they're not going to sit back and do nothing or maybe, you know, hold on to this divine counterpart for whatever reason. I really feel like this uh, karmic partner is is doing they're not sitting back i feel like they're they're working or they're doing something to kind of cover themselves so just in case their relationship or situation does not work with this masculine then they have something to fall back on which is themselves so they're taking accountability for themselves which is a good thing um so let's see what else is going on So, Sperry Kini, please bring forth clear messages and the subconscious energies of divine masculine. What is going on subconsciously with feminine and what is going on with the karmic? What is the energy with divine masculine, divine feminine, and the karmic? What can you tell me about the situation? So I see with this mask and we have obsession. I'm obsessed with you and our memories. It's almost killing me. So this is the obsession that masculine has with the karmic. Okay, so this tells me that um, this obsession could be about materialism. This could be about feeling um, secure in a materialistic relationship. I really feel like uh, the truth is, is that masculine here is uh, coming out as being materialistic, okay? Um, they keep thinking about, you know, how everything started with their karmic partner. And um, it feels that the karmic is pulling the reins. Like the karmic is the one that has the money. Or, you know, they know that, I don't know, maybe uh, the karmic is entitled to this money. So whatever, you know, situation this is, it's like the karmic knows about this masculine, that they have something in common. It's about their attachment to a lifestyle or just like a way of being. And both of them are very similar in nature because of that. Now, towards the feminine, we have divine timing, but it is in reverse. So what I'm getting with this is that it says trust in the perfection of divine timing. This masculine does not trust divine time. So that just tells me that this masculine, they um, are very controlling. Um, they feel that um, if they cannot control the situation, then um, they just don't think that it's their comfort level okay they don't feel comfortable because things are not going on their terms so um i really feel that for this masculine towards the feminine 
they're taking action because maybe they don't trust in divine time. So maybe a lot of time has passed <clears throat> and things aren't really working out for them. There is this obsession that they have with a karmic. This masculine knows that they have to do something. Okay. If they really want uh, to have a relationship with divine feminine. The reason why I say that is because I see her regret. Okay. I regret the things I should have done. Um, and, but never did. So this masculine has a lot of regret. Okay. Because, um, they really didn't take the action towards the feminine. And they just, masculine this week feels stuck. Okay. That's what it feels like. Um, let's go ahead and see what else. Now with the feminine, we have love, hate, I'm angry, but I still love you. Just hate what you do. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, you know, it's funny, but not really, right? Feminines, you have this love-hate relationship with the masculine because, you know, you really feel like with this caring connection, you feel like you're unloved. Because if masculine really loved you, they wouldn't put you in this situation to begin with, right? You also hate that you love masculine because masculine, either they push you away or they make you wait, okay? And for some of these masculines, um, maybe they just chose a karmic situation. They didn't want you to wait, you know, because they've made their choice. But, you know, it, it's not easy for the feminine because if it was that easy, feminine would have already gotten over this divine masculine, right? Now, also, we have chaser, but it's in reverse. So, feminines, you're no longer chasing the masculine, okay? And you want to be honest with yourself. You used to do it. Now, you don't want to do it anymore, okay? It was because there was that attachment, you know, when twins first meet each other, it's like an explosive energy and it's something that you cannot explain. And um, yeah, you know, once you have a taste of your twin, you know, it's like you want more. It's kind of like crack. <laughs> and and then, you know, when things get too intense or heated, um, then uh, I really feel that that's where we have the runner chaser situation that's going on. So feminines, at this time, you are no longer wanting to chase after this masculine. Okay, you want to be honest with yourself. You just, you don't want to do it. You feel that masculine, if they loved you, then they would show up, right? And um, that's why you have this love-hate relationship with masculines at this time. Now, with the karmic, we have manifesting, but it came up in reverse. Um, and I really feel that with this uh, manifestation, okay, we have here the sun. So it says, I am manifesting loving and meaningful relationships. So they're very clear that they are not manifesting a loving connection. What they have manifested was a materialistic relationship with this masculine they just they're just together for appearances okay maybe it's financial maybe it's because of tradition whatever the case is okay like a program belief that one should you know be in a relationship for x y and z reasons you know this karmic knows that there is not really a true love in this they're starting to see the truth and also, wow, we have twin flame, but it is in reverse. It says, I remember who you are. I've loved you before. And since it's in reverse, this karmic, they know that it's not divine masculine. Okay, I feel like they were lying to themselves. Okay, so that's very typical for a soul connection, you know, where you feel like this intense uh, draw to a particular person and you just don't know why well a lot of times when we come into those situations um, they are karmic in nature uh, and it's to teach this masculine a lesson the lesson here is that masculine was obsessed with a materialistic partnership someone with money someone with status maybe masculine wanted to look a certain way um, that's what I'm seeing here. 
So the karmic partner knows that there there could be someone else that is their twin. Okay, uh, not all people are twin flames, by the way. Okay, um, but I really feel like let's just say soulmate. Okay, um, some karmics are actually twins, but they're not the twin of you know your your divine counterpart. Okay, so it's like, you know, they're resonating on a very similar vibration, but it's not an exact match, right? That's what I feel. So this karmic feels that it's time to move forward. Okay, and move away from the twin flame so they can find whatever their next chapter is. So that's what I'm seeing here so far. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see what else is going on. Spirit, please reveal to me what is divine masculine's energy. And what is divine feminine's energy in the present moment? What is uh, the current situation between divine masculine, divine feminine? How are you guys currently thinking? How do you feel towards one another right now? What is the intention? And what is the outcome? Current energies, please, spirit. What is going on in the present moment between divine masculine, divine feminine? Thank you. All right, so I see here masculines, they are wanting to work on a situation. Um, they're very committed um, and they feel very confident that this would work with the feminine. And they're coming up with some sort of idea with the Page of Wands energy um, that they may have lost control over the situation before in the past and now they're coming to some sort of awakening they're starting to realize okay that they need to really heal themselves and work on themselves you know at, for some of these masculines they're starting to lose faith but i really feel like because there's this inability to really move things forward so they could be like contemplating about like what their next steps would be maybe with the karmic and uh, really thinking about their feminine they regret okay that they have missed an opportunity to be with you this masculine is really thinking about the feminines at this time and right now they're receiving the karmic justice okay for some they're thinking about the whole legal situation and the life lessons they have learned with the karmic I'm also getting that um, they don't know what the future holds, okay? So they don't know if the feminine really wants to be with the masculine. Um, and for others, they're just reluctant because maybe you guys had a conversation and they don't know how to come back from, from that energy, okay? Maybe it's because they were careless with their speech. So I have a feeling like this time... Uh, there's a period of reflecting, okay, about maybe acting too quickly, about saying something that this masculine didn't mean. Um, I really feel like maybe they crossed the line where um, maybe their intention was to never return, but now they realize that, you know, they were just too hasty in their speech. Um, they are stuck in the past, okay? For some of these masculines, they did run away from the connection from feminine. That's why feminines, you just, you don't want to chase after this masculine. If the masculine um, really chose to walk away from the connection, you're just tired of, you know, running after the masculine. You want someone to approach you, not you chase after someone, okay? Especially if they're not interested. So the masculine is feeling very defensive and, um, they're causing some sort of a delay. Now, even though that the masculine really like to move things forward, um, they're kind of paranoid, okay, about what the outcome may be. 
um, they are in denial, okay? They're kind of forced with a difficult decision here about you because this masculine has deep love for my feminines, okay? This is my Empress card. And uh, what I'm getting is that, you know, masculines know that feminines, you are deeply committed, you know, to the connection, whether or not you're with this masculine in the physical or not. Um, spiritually, they are connected with you in that way. So they definitely are feeling that energy. They do want to release some sort of fear and tell you the truth, okay, with this moon card. The truth is, is that they were with a gold digger, maybe the masculine was a gold digger, okay? Um, they weren't completely honest um, that they were feeling vulnerable and weak. They just didn't feel good enough for you. So some of these masculines, maybe they felt like you had expectations that they couldn't really meet up to. Maybe they could meet up the expectations of their karmic partner. And that is the very reason why they chose the karmic over the feminine. So this is a thing about karmic relationships and twin flame connections. The twin flame is going to challenge the masculine to be the highest version of themselves. The karmic partner is going to say, hey, you don't have to work on yourself. You can do whatever you want, right? You know, um, you just do you. You know, I'm not expecting change. You can just be the way that you you know, want to be, which is not masculine's higher, higher self, okay? And I see that here because we have here the three of cups which is uh, karmic energy. This is about like gossip or having an affair. And um, masculine has been lying. They have been sneaking around and cheating on the karmic and also with you, okay? For some, maybe this masculine had multiple partners, okay? And I really feel like this masculine really does love you, feminine, because I see here the Knight of Cups. So this masculine is a very romantic, like, towards the feminine. Okay. I have a feeling like this masculine is playing it small. They're playing mind games with the feminine. Okay. And um, in a social setting, you know, they're like, you know, they acted like they're interested, but really... You know, they just didn't know what the future holds, right? They didn't plan it that far. I have a feeling like some of these masculines, they never really thought that um, they were deeply uh, connected to you or affected um, by your presence. So I have a feeling like they are feeling hopeless and they are lacking the faith with the star in reverse. And I see that there is movement Okay, so that's uh, masculine energy taking uh, movement forward. Okay, for some, they could be traveling. Okay, they could be traveling by air. And I feel that they're in alignment, okay, to let go of the guilt and shame that they were holding on to when it comes to you because they're connected to you through telepathy. They know that you are this queen. You know, so for my feminines, you're very stable, you're very secure. Um, you know, you're you're not needy or codependent materialistically. You seem to be doing well on your own. Okay. So that's where you're somewhat different than the karmic partner that they're with. That's why masculines they're really conflicted. They're not doing well in their marriage or their home life or whatever relationship or connection that they have with a karmic. And I see that they really want to move forward, okay, and really reciprocate, okay, between you and the karmic and be honest that they're feeling insecure, okay. I feel like the karmic makes the masculine feel insecure. This is the thing about karmic partnerships. The karmic will make the masculine feel less than. And so that kind of makes them feel challenged that they can't really um, get out of a situation. It's kind of like an, um, a manipulation, right? So even though that this karmic may be sweet and innocent, what masculine doesn't realize, even though that 
uh, their intentions were pure, okay, because not all karmics are, are ruthless and, you know, and, you know, mean. I really felt that it was holding this masculine back from their true potential. And I was because of these program beliefs. So let's say that masculine really wanted to work on a career path. Okay, if the feminine was with the masculine at the time, okay, the feminine would encourage the masculine to take that path, even though it may be difficult, even though that um, this masculine would be struggling financially. But if this is something that masculine really wanted for their life, because it is something that they cherish, something that they believe in, something that they've always wanted to do, feminines would back them up 100%. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I'm also getting that if the karmic, okay, let's just say that the karmic uh, was talking to the masculine and the masculine was like, you know, hey, karmic, you know, what do you think about me pursuing this job? And the karmic is like, I don't think it's going to be a good idea because financially, you know, we wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, afford X, Y, and Z. And then what about blah, 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 you know, and this and that. So do you see the difference? It, it may seem like the karmic is looking out for the best interest of the masculine, but it's also hindering the masculine to really, you know, go above and beyond their means. Okay, now I know that everyone has to live within their means, right? But is the karmic, you know, sacrificing, let's say the karmic works? Is the karmic sacrificing somewhat like maybe they're um, like getting a manicure or a pedicure or something that they do for themselves for the masculine because they they really want to back up the masculine for whatever it is or let's just say this is about like uh, maybe taking less hours just so that they could watch the children so the masculine could could be the you know to do better for you know themselves and let's say like if they're in a family for the family. I really feel like the karmic is is operating from um, scarce, uh, from from scarcity, right, um, or feelings of lack. And when you're feeling like that, okay, then you are going to uh, manifest that. If you're uh, feeling that you could benefit from so much and gain so much from, you know, taking that leap of faith, which is what the feminine would do, right? Then there is more to come because you have to really figure the history of life, okay? Whenever there was a period of time when there was lack, were you able to bounce back? Now, let's be honest. Yes. <laughs> it may be difficult, for a little bit, but yes, you do bounce back, right? So, you know, a lot of times if masculines were working up to like a level of, you know, let's say that they're comparing themselves towards their peers, their workmates or whatnot, and they're saying, you know, how well, you know, their, their peers are doing, you know, that's another issue that masculine is having with, <clears throat> you know, dealing with a karmic partner. You know, if, if they were with the feminine, the feminine would make it easier, okay? Because the feminine would back up the masculine and even give, you know, um, support in whatever way that they can. But some of these masculines, they don't want that support, Okay, they want to have like this limiting belief where, you know, yes, you know, the karmic partner is in alignment with how the masculine thinks because maybe they're thinking more logically. Okay, and not really spiritually. So it's really hard to, to really go off of like, you know, like personal beliefs and, um, and the way how, how the situationship is. 
Okay, because spirituality is not going to feed you at the end of the day or put a roof over your head. I get it, you know, but if you can come with a sense of compromise and balance and really working things out, you can work it out. Okay, it's just I really feel like the karmic partner is really prohibiting the masculine for being the best version of themselves. And I see that very clearly with this Queen of Cups in reverse. So I really feel like this masculine, um, they have the option to come into feminine's life. They are playing it conservative, okay? They're going slow. They're taking their time. You know, they are delaying. They're stalling. So again, there's not much action towards the feminine. This is more action towards how do they perceive themselves their relationship with the karmic where they see themselves with the feminine okay not really much doing it's just more making observation because look at this okay what did i talk about with the karmic they could be talking about like bankruptcy getting a divorce you know having financial loss if they were to go through this uh breakup masculines are exhausted okay they want to give up but they really want to work with the feminine, okay? Um, they're trying to figure out a creative way. I would, okay, so this is something that just came up for some of my twins. There is something that you and your divine counterpart can do, okay, in regards to a work situation where maybe there is like a project or a business proposition that is coming to mind where it, it will give you the ability to collab with one another so that um, you can work on this uh, residual uh, income. Okay. It's like side income. It's not the major source of income, but it's a start. Okay. I really feel that that is going to be like the precursor towards something of the future. So, um, again, this is just like, you know, um, baby steps, you know, just uh, taking the initiative to work on something, but it's not really set in stone, but I really feel like there could be a conversation about a business proposition. Now, masculines, they haven't been balanced for the past couple of years, and they are learning to release that energy. Okay, because they are currently disappointed in themselves and their progress, and they keep thinking about the past. This masculine really wants union with the feminine. Okay, and for some, if they are living uh, at a distance, um, I really feel that they um, really want to return, but they don't know if they can. Okay, um, they really feel like, you know, maybe this is not going to work out, but um, they really feel this happy family uh, situation here with you. They do want reunion. Okay, mm. they, they feel like um, something here is faded. They do have fear, so they're going to cancel their plan. So there's like this back and forth energy where masculines really want to be with the feminines or want to reach out and connect with you, but then they, they back out. Um, I really feel that there's something here about their employment. Okay, maybe they're recovering from a financial loss. Um, but they are manifesting and planning. Okay, we're just taking patience. That's why I really feel like for some of my twins, you are actually going to collaborate with your divine masculine to work on a project together. Okay, I really feel very strongly about that. Okay, so that's for a few. That's not for everyone. Um, they're just really paranoid um, about like, you know, connecting with you at this time, but they do want to end the conflict. Okay, they just feel really insecure. Okay, um, they're really sad and have a lot of regret about what has happened. And, um, you know, when they come back, they don't know what to expect. This person really fears like, you know, commitment. So they may not come back with commitment in mind, but I really feel like they really want to work on something with you. They're really holding on, okay, but they want to set healthy boundaries. And they know they were arrogant, okay, in the past. So they could have acted like they didn't care. But the problem is, is that they were feeling at a loss. 
and they just don't feel successful. This is uh, another thing I'm also getting. My feminine collective, okay, that is watching this, you guys are very successful, okay? You, that's why I saw the Queen of Pentacles earlier on in the reading. This masculine really sees that um, you have your stuff together. You always seem to be very solid, very grounded. Um, maybe for some, you're a business owner um, or have like a really strong sense of uh, work ethic, right? Um, you know, I'm not saying that the karmic doesn't work and they don't have good ethics uh, when it comes to a job, but I really do feel very strongly that there's a stark difference between um, you, the belief systems of the feminine and the karmic, okay? I feel very strongly about that. And I feel very strongly that the karmic partner is keeping the masculine stuck in like a negative lack mentality, like, uh, you know, scarcity, okay? Um, that masculine can't do certain things because of, you know, lack of finances or, you know, um, you know, a change in maybe a job situation, okay? Something like that. That's what I see so far. So, you know, like I said, masculines are thinking about the feminines, but, um, you know, I feel like for some, you may hear from this masculine and it may be like a business proposition, okay? Just saying. Yeah, this masculine knows that they made a wrong decision here with the Ace of Swords in reverse, and they're looking at their options here with the Seven of Cups. Feminines, you have a tarot moment, okay? There's something that um, you did not realize, okay? And I really feel that you're having some sort of trauma about making a decision, okay? And um, how do you guys feel? Masculines, they really feel very passionate towards the feminine, and wow, we have the sun, like you do make them happy. So this masculine is realizing that they really love your your energy, your tenacity. Um, you know, you always seem to be like a go-getter. Um, you know, very different energy than the karmic. Okay, I definitely do sense that. The karmic and the uh, twin, they're not comparable with their energies two different energy levels, okay? Um, with you, feminine, we have here the emperor, which is masculine energy. I'm getting that you really want something stable and you're starting to see that. That's why you're having a hard time making a decision. That's why you have a love-hate relationship with the masculine, right? You love the masculine, but you hate them because you hate them because they're taking their sweet time and making a decision. And it's because, you know, the masculine and the karmic, they're kind of one and the same, um, where they think very similar. And it's just like feelings of lack, like, you know, like that's not how you're supposed to do certain things. You know, it's like they, they kind of see things very similarly, if you will, you know, and I really feel like the feminines have like this uh, insight Okay, like you guys can see things kind of like from a global perspective and not being so tunnel visioned into like an idea. But you know what you want and you want a strong divine masculine, right? That is going to be there and support you and love you in the way that you want to be loved. Now, the intention here is that masculines, they don't know what to do. Okay, again, there's a lot of delays, a lot of, you know, like holding back. And they really want to offer love. So feminines, this collective of masculines that I'm, I'm reading for today, they are definitely thinking about you. They definitely want to offer their love towards you. They just don't know how to do it. Okay. They don't know where to begin. For some, if they're, they still have a karmic partner, um, they don't know how to either uh, transition out of that partnership and ease in into a connection with you. Okay. Now for you, feminine, we have here letting go. Okay. And I see that you're learning to say no to being stressed over you know, the lack of conversation with masculine or just knowing like what the future holds, you're just going to let go and let universe or spirit guide you to a new relationship. 
So whether or not that is with this masculine or with a brand new person, I really feel like for my feminines, you have really worked on yourself. And so you do deserve love, right? Um, you're just tired of waiting on this masculine. That's why you have that love-hate relationship. If masculine were to step up and show some sort of initiative towards the feminine, then you would be all over that feminine. It's like finally masculine is actually stepping up, you know, because a lot of times the feminines would run after the masculine or be the first to initiate conversation. And you're just really tired about that. You want a reciprocal energy. You don't want like this feeling of being hesitant. You know, is masculine going to contact, you know, you, you know, if they, they're the ones that contacted to begin with and you respond and then they don't answer back. And it's like, what the fuck is that? Right. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what I'm getting, you know. Um, so I really feel like feminines, you're just tired of the um the lack of conversation, like a mature conversation. Like who leaves you hanging, you know? Um, if they're the ones who initiated, you know, that that's like being very controlling and manipulative without even knowing that that's a form of manipulation, you know. So you're just stressed over like some of the simpler uh, things um, that you have going on with this masculine. But I see that you're ready for love, feminine. Now, in the outcome, okay, masculines, they're not balanced. This is my twin flame card. Okay, also temperance. Um, it's about morals and ethics. So, so if they're questioning themselves, like let's say that they're already in a commitment with the karmic. And again, this is about what is this masculine going to do to resolve their connection with the karmic? And how are they going to open up towards their feminine? They want to come in with a level of intelligence and really uh, exude like, you know, some some good behaviors, right? And have good manners, you know, where they're not going to overstep their boundaries and contacting the feminine, you know, especially if someone here is in a marriage or another relationship, you know, nobody wants to be a homewrecker, right? Um, so that's why masculine knows that they are being self-indulgent, okay, uh, of whatever their wants and needs are. Um, but it's because they're impatient. So that's why in the very beginning, um, I really saw that the yin yang masculine, okay, wants to take action to really balance out their masculine and feminine energy from within so they can handle their karmic situation. So I really feel like they're contemplating what are they going to do about the karmic? Is this something that they want to hold on to for 2023? Okay. Or are they ready, you know, to have like a new type of relationship with their divine feminine in, in that year? You know, I feel like now's the time to just really sit and marinate and, you know, your thoughts, like, what do you want? You know, are, are you going like, to continue on with this for another year? Where do you see yourself in one year, five years and 10 years? That's what I see. With the feminine, we have the third party. There's conflict, trust issues, and imbalance. So both you and masculines are feeling the same. You guys are not feeling very stable. You're not feeling balanced or secure, okay? You also want to do the right thing, feminine. You know, you don't want to ruin whatever masculine has. Let, let's say that they're in a relationship, okay? And, it, and I could be talking about you, feminine. You could be the one that's in a relationship or partnership with a karmic partner too. So take it as it resonates. But, you know, whenever you have trust, you have to eliminate certain things that um, that is going to really hinder that trust factor, right? If, if it's because of certain things, you have to resolve that first before you guys can fully trust one another. And I understand that these things take time, but I definitely am seeing that. So I really feel like for this time, it's about like assessing where are the twins at in their current physical situation? Where do you guys really want to be? Okay, we have like Thanksgiving that's around the corner here in the United States. Um so there's a holiday here for us. And what, what is masculine really thankful for? What is the feminine thankful for? You know, um, what do you guys, where do you guys see yourselves? You know, um, I really feel like it's a lot of reassessment. Okay. At this time, 
And once you really know and you're true and honest with yourself, then you guys can really move forward. Now, I also see here death for the masculine. Masculine wants to have a new beginning, but in order to have this new beginning, they have to change. Okay, they're aware. So I really feel like this is soon. I really feel like, you know, maybe tomorrow, you know, masculine is aware that they need to change. And it's about the, their commitment, you know. If they want to have a new beginning and some sort of commitment, that they have to do something about it, right? This is about their viewpoints on their traditional values, about their social groups, you know. How important are their social groups, you know? Do they really care about this masculine? Is it really that important? Because in the very beginning, I really felt like the masculine was comparing themselves and other group situations like their peers or whatnot and they're they're making that comparison but there is really no comparison like how could you compare yourself to like maybe someone and then they compare like oh, okay well they have their stuff together they have a house you know their family looks great you know but the mask on a surface level you know um portraying that you know they have the same but really it's not okay so they have come to the conclusion about their belief systems so this is about personal beliefs you know is it still the same you know whatever that they believed in from like let's say a year ago is it still the same today or have they changed you know what has the masculine learned you know and it's very similar to the feminine so the feminines i see that you're going to make something happen you're planning remember you really couldn't um really figure out what to do right you're still in limbo but you also want to have a new beginning too but you're you're going to take the initiative okay you want you want a traditional relationship you're just tired of like maybe not being in one okay and um i really feel that you have come to a conclusion about what you believe and you're willing to change so i really feel like feminists you're just one step ahead of this masculine and um you're going to really secure the connection masculines are feeling like the victim they're feeling stuck okay in regards to uh, the karmic situation and i really feel that they're going to end the cycle they are resistant that's why they are resisting the feminines and also feminines you have doubt Okay, maybe the only person that you can blame is really yourself. But I feel that this is a karmic lesson for you too. So there's a lot to be learned, a lot to absorb. And honestly, if you really want to get over this, you know, truly get over whatever the situation is and accept things as they are. Really feel confident about yourself, feminine. Okay, don't blame yourself. Everything happens for a reason. And masculines, if they're feeling restricted and they're feeling like the victim, they need to change that mindset and really feel like they are not the victim. Okay, they're only the victim if they allow themselves to feel like the victim, which is, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, dealing with a karmic partner, how the karmic is saying, well, you know, financially, it wouldn't really make sense. You know, I still need you know, blah, blah, blah. And the masculines, they feel like, you know, they're obligated to stay stuck in whatever relationship, yada, yada. Masculine really definitely feels like they have bad luck and bad karma. They're going through it right now. Okay, just know that feminine. That's what I see for this week. So I know, right? So let's just go into the karmic energy briefly because I'm 48 minutes into this reading. All right, I'm making up for last week. <laughs> last week was quick and easy. So, guys, you know, um, my camera is actually plugged into a different port, and it's actually working. So, I don't know what's up with that. This is a brand new machine, and so I don't know why. I don't know if it's the graphics card. It's, it's so strange. I don't know. And I have a nice graphics card, so it's not like. Um, who knows i don't know i hope you guys like the the live quickies i'm not sure if i should do it again this week but we'll see
Spirit, tell me more about the karmic energy, divine, masculine, and the karmic. Thank you. All right, let's see. Yeah, so masculine, we have here the world. So they definitely know that they need to end a cycle with the karmic and they are not being honest with them. They're actually blocking their heart, okay? And I see here the Knight of Cups in reverse. So that just tells me that the masculine, they are not really expressing their feelings towards the karmic, okay, about their feelings, okay? So masculines, um, they want to know, okay, how do they really feel? They feel like maybe it's time to get out of being stuck and they're starting to see, you know, what actually makes them happy and they're being really defensive, you know, or really guarded and they want to tell the karmic the truth, the reasons why they're just holding themselves back from maybe telling them that they want to get out of the relationship. They feel like they can't do this for another year. Okay. I'm also saying that they're trying to get out of their head about being the victim. Now, um, they, they feel like really unstable. Okay. They don't feel very secure financially. This could be like, maybe they just don't feel the love in this relationship that they have with the karmic and they don't feel good about letting them go. Again, this could be about ego. Okay. Maybe, um, their egoic mind is thinking, well, what are the karma? I mean, what are the, uh, friends and family going to say if we, you know, get a divorce and blah, 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 or get out of a relationship. And what I'm getting with that is that, um, it's a form of manipulation that I see that they're going to try to get away from this karmic situation. But right now they're holding on because they're feeling like maybe, you know, not, maybe now's not a good time, but they feel like a lot, they had a missed opportunity. Maybe too much time has passed for them to tell this to them. So this is what it feels like. Masculines, they've been wanting to get out of this relationship or situation with the karmic for a long time. They just don't know when. That's what I see. And I see here the hermit and it's in reverse and they really want to, um, they're going to get out of like overthinking and really, you know, tell the karmic the truth that they don't know if they can go on, you know, um, for some it's because of the kids and I'm also getting that they just want to end it so they can start over. They're starting to feel this. Okay. And I see that, you know, they really feel like a sense of independence here about making a decision and they realized okay that they're not happy and they don't want to work on it anymore and they you know for their happiness with the karmic for some maybe they stuck around with the karmic and you know try to work things out and you know just to see if they can improve their relationship but if it's been going on for three years it hasn't been working out you know um they can't they just can't do it they've tried it's just it's not happening they want to get out of this conflict and i'm also getting that they feel like they can't really move forward they feel like they want to end it so it's very clear where the masculine's energy is at but are they going to take action no and I said because I see here the Ace of Wands, they're holding themselves back. The karmic, they want to be fair, okay? Um, the connective energy here is the Five of Swords. Both of them feel like they're stuck between them and another situation. Again, this is ego, okay? How do they feel? Um, masculines, they really feel like, you know, they want to move forward. And I see that um, it's with this four of swords energy in reverse they really feel like they want to get out of this they've thought about it a lot okay the karmic they're healing okay they want to reconcile with this masculine so for some of these karmics they're asking the masculine you know hey let's just work it out you know i feel like they've tried to be honest and i see that they, the masculines, okay, they want to work on maybe healing the connection, but they can't. Again, it's like masculine is trying, okay, for the sake of like, I don't know, 
keeping up with appearances of because maybe it's just easier to stay stuck in that situation, you know, um, because, you know, divorce isn't a quick and easy process. And so, you know, if it's a divorce or if it's like a situationship, okay, take it as a resonance, but they try and it just doesn't work out. And so with the karmic, they're, they're stressed. They don't know what to do. They're like, they're just not feeling it. And the outcome, okay, we have the moon. So there's a lot that masculine is hiding. They want a divorce or they want to get out of the relationship. <clears throat> and with the karma, I see that they're walking away. They're not feeling very good. Either they've separated, they're living separately, or <clears throat> maybe they're living in the same house, but they're not in the same like bed. You know what I mean? That's what I'm seeing here. And the masculine is making some sort of observation about freeing themselves, becoming independent, like being like sovereign, okay? And the karmic, they're not feeling very stable. So they're not <clears throat> stable about being solo. So that just tells me that maybe some of these uh, karmics they're holding on to the masculine for material security. Okay. And it could be vice versa where the masculine was initially holding on to the karmic for the wrong reasons. But I really feel that it's really hindering the masculine's progress to really be their, their higher self, like, you know, their fullest potential. That's what I'm seeing, guys. So I don't know. I know, right? It's all coming down to where is masculine going to take the initiative. So let's go ahead and pull an Akashic message for the collective and see what does spirit want you to know about this connection at this time. Let's see. Wow, we have seven of scrolls into intricacies and industry and it's in reverse now remember i was talking about like i really feel like masculines they may come to the feminines for a business proposition okay maybe it's not going to work out maybe it's because you know you're still stuck in the karmic relationship seven of scrolls let's see here A project, relationship, or work situation may not be moving fast enough for you. You may be too urgent about and too attached to the outcome, or you simply might not want to deal with the particulars. Be careful not to act in haste. That's why I really feel like as much as like this is like, you know, going back, maybe thinking things through, not acting too hasty. I'm not getting much action. I feel like masculine knows that you know, they need to move forward. So does the karmic. The karmic is learning how to free themselves and be sovereign and not be so codependent or attached to the masculine. The masculine, they need to do the same. Okay, that's their lesson with the karmic. And I feel that the masculines, you know, maybe they're too attached to outcomes. Like they like to be in control. That's why, you know, they really feel like they need to make uh, movements forward towards the feminine but they have to handle the karmic situation first, which I feel like is more materialistic than anything else. Be careful not to act in haste. A little uh, fir tree doesn't reach the sky by pulling on it, and cathedrals aren't built within a day. If you're not willing to be patient with the process and attend to the details, what you see could collapse without ever coming to fruition. It's time to bring joy to the little steps now. Focus your work on the intricacies and trust that even your tiniest efforts will compound to create extraordinary success. So baby steps, you know, just take it slow. There's no need to rush this process. If masculine like does this too quickly, it just might, you know, backfire on them, you know, very similar to, you know, did masculine learn the situation with the feminine? Did they act too haste, you know, hastily in the situation with the feminine? You know, what have they learned? Did they feel like, you know, do they have regret? Yes, because I saw that card come up like two or three times in this reading. 
So this all has to do with assessment. Okay, taking that time, maybe do some meditation, really figure out what do you want in life, you know, instead of like opening up your mouth and speaking your piece without, you know, second guessing, like what it is that you really meant to say or really want to, you know, communicate, but it didn't come out too clear, really take the time to think about it before you open your mouth, right? And that's for some that are actually in this uh, situation. Um, where you're communicating with them right now. If you're in no communication, I really feel like masculines are thinking about the past, about how they kind of cut things off very quickly with their feminine. And what is the current situation done with their karma? There's a lot of regret. Okay. So masculine, you know, instead of them taking action, I really feel like they have to resolve their karma with the karmic first before they can even think about being with the feminine. I really feel like for some, you will hear from the masculine and it could be about a business proposition. I feel that if you guys are coming together, you know, talking about like this business deal, it can actually lead to something more later on down the road, but at least there is some sort of communication or contact about this. Okay. And also it's going to, uh, really help with finances in the future, um, you know, and that could actually be that baby step for this masculine to have like multiple, you know, streams of income, if you will, once they get out of the relationship with a karmic and transition into like maybe a career path or uh, maybe, you know, wherever that they're doing for their job, okay, securing whatever that they have, but also having something supplemental, as well with you, right? Which I feel like is going to build your connection with the masculine over time. That's what I have, guys. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And all of my readings are on sale, guys. And so if you guys would like to book a personal reading, um, now's a good time to do so. And so thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.